Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really insane, brand new super speed glitch in GTA 5 Online. As some of you may or may not know, I've made plenty of speed glitch videos in the past in GTA 5 Online, but out of all of the videos that I've made on speed glitches, this is definitely the craziest one. And the reason for that is pretty simple. This speed glitch can be done on any car, yes, any car in GTA Online, which is pretty crazy because it makes your car go insanely fast, so let's get into how to do this right now. To even get things started, first call out the car that you want to do the speed glitch in, and then park it right in front of the hangar to the right of the blue circle. You basically want to park it in front of the hangar where you would be if you exit the hangar and then spawn on foot. So just like this, once you have your car exactly like mine, a little bit in front of the hangar to the right of the blue circle, what you now need to do is enter inside the hangar. Once inside the hangar, all you want to do is turn around and then exit and then once you are on the black screen, immediately start spamming Y or triangle, that way once you load out, you're immediately going to start going towards the vehicle and then entering inside. And then once you see your character fully get inside the car, you shouldn't see him turn on the car, it should already be on. If the car is already on without him turning the key, that is how you know you most likely hit the glitch perfectly. You should also be able to tell that you hit the speed glitch by flooring it. As you can see, the Dubachi champion is giving me a lot of tire smoke once I accelerate, which normally would not happen in this car. I recommend that you guys check out your speedometer once you are driving in first person because the speedometer goes absolutely nuts in this speed glitch car. And just to show you a comparison, on the left is going to be my regular Dubachi champion with no speed glitch and then on the right is my speed glitch Dubachi champion. As you can see, the speedometer goes absolutely nuts compared to how it normally does. And this goes for every single vehicle, it makes every single speedometer go absolutely nuts, even motorcycles. Just keep in mind though that if you do have a digital speedometer, which is just a speedometer that only shows you the miles per hour that you are going and no needle, that is only going to cap out at 180 miles per hour, but just know you are definitely going to be going faster than that, that is just what the number caps out at in the digital ones. But you can literally do this speed glitch with any single vehicle as long as you can park it in front of the hangar and then enter inside by doing the glitch that I showed you. As you can see, I'm now going to be doing the speed glitch in the Pizza Boy. And once I did do the speed glitch in the Pegasi Pizza Boy, I ended up going over 100 miles per hour in this motorcycle, which as you all know, that is definitely impossible. This Pizza Boy is normally super, super slow, probably one of the slowest vehicles in the game. Until you put this super speed glitch on it though, it turns it into an absolute beast. And here is a clip of me and my friend racing our Vigero ZXs, we both launched at the same time, and his is completely upgraded like mine, HSW upgrades and all, but mine of course has the speed glitch on it. And you can literally see from this race that my speed glitch version is way faster than the normal version, I completely flew past my friend. In my opinion, whenever you are choosing any one of the cars, as far as cars go when doing the speed glitch, I recommend choosing cars with really good traction like the Panad La Cruz for example, or even the brand new Niobe. Because since this speed glitch will have us going insane speeds, it is going to be really hard to control the car, and if you have a car that already is spinning out normally, it is definitely going to spin out very easily during this speed glitch. That's why I said, make sure you call out vehicles or cars with the best traction on it, that way you don't slip out whenever you are going super fast, and also cars with all-wheel drive. Like I was saying though, you can literally do this super speed glitch with any single car in the game as long as you can park it in front of the hangar and then enter inside, even some of the water vehicles like the Blazer Aqua and the APC. And as you can see from the footage, the APC and also the Blazer Aqua or any other vehicle that can also go underwater or on the water, those vehicles don't only go fast on land, they also go super fast on top of water which is insane. Because take a look, I'm literally ripping through all of these waves in the ocean like if I was on a speedboat. So not only can you have fun going super fast on land, you can also go super fast on top of water, but of course you do need to own one of those water vehicles like the Blazer Aqua or the APC. Now I'm pretty sure all of you are immediately going to want to do this super speed glitch in all of the HSW vehicles because of course HSW vehicles are some of the fastest cars in the entire game. And don't get me wrong, those cars are going to be even more faster with this speed glitch, but the fastest car that you can possibly go in this speed glitch with is is going to be any one of the F1 vehicles because all F1 vehicles do have that extra speed boost that you can use. 
And here is some footage of me doing the speed glitch in the BR-8, which is the fastest F1 vehicle in the entire game. And just driving normally in this F1 car is insane, but once you hit that speed boost, it literally turns this F1 vehicle into like a modded super speed F1 vehicle. Like I'm literally going so fast right now, I can barely even handle this F1 vehicle. It's not supposed to be going this fast, so I don't recommend doing this in traffic, but if you can cut up really, really good, this is definitely going to be something that you will have a lot of fun with. So if you have an F1 vehicle, make sure this is definitely one of those cars that you try the speed glitch in because it is really fun to even try to handle this car going this speed. Another vehicle that I am definitely going to recommend that you do the speed glitch in is going to have to be the Kanjali. As you can see right now, I am in the Kanjali and take a look at how fast the Kanjali is going right now. I'm literally almost flipping over by how fast I'm going. And the reason this is one of the coolest vehicles to do the speed glitch in is because not only are you in a tank that is going super fast, but you also have, yes, some cannons that you can fire at people while going super fast. And this doesn't have to be just the Kanjali, you can literally do this with any single vehicle that has some military weapons on top of it like the Pickup Insurgent or even the Barrage. But yeah, my top two favorite vehicles to do the speed glitch in is definitely going to be weaponized vehicles like this one and also of course the F1 vehicles. So since we now went over a whole bunch of vehicles that I recommend you use during this speed glitch, that is basically going to be the end of today's video. There's only one more thing that I have to mention to you guys and that is how long this speed glitch actually lasts. So basically, as long as the vehicle never gets returned to storage and never gets blown up, it is basically going to always have this speed glitch as long as you are in this session. You can also even go to any single Los Santos customs around the map and repair your vehicle, which you most likely will need to do because you will crash a lot of times during this speed glitch. But yeah, you can literally go inside of the Los Santos customs, repair your vehicle, or even add anything to the vehicle, exit back outside, and you'll still be in the speed glitch. The only way the speed glitch will go away is if you return the vehicle or if you switch sessions, but that is basically going to be the end of today's video. Let me now go over the glitch one more time, but I'm now going to be going over it with you guys live. If you are somebody who is having trouble hitting this super speed glitch, it is really simple. There is a cool way to actually make sure that you 100% hit this. The way to make sure to 100% hit this glitch is to first of all enter inside the hangar and then exit normally. Once you exit normally, keep in mind where you spawn. As you can see, I spawn right around here in front of my hangar, so what I recommend now is getting a gun and then shooting this area, that way you know exactly where you spawn once you spawn out the hangar. Once you have the bullets on the ground and you have it marked, all you then want to do is go ahead and get the vehicle that you want to do the super speed glitch in. Once you get the vehicle, park it to the right of where we just spawned outside of the hangar, which for me is exactly right here. Once you parked it exactly right where you spawn, once you exited the hangar, now go back inside the hangar. Whenever you are inside the hangar, it is pretty simple. All you want to do now is turn back around and then exit. And once you are exiting, spam Y right now until you exit. Once you are fully outside and you see your character going towards the vehicle, you can now stop spamming Y. And once your character fully is inside the vehicle, you should have hit the speed glitch. But yeah, that is now going to wrap things up for today's video. You now know how to do the most insane speed glitch in GTA 5 Online, making all of your vehicles super, super fast. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you still haven't already, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video and of course making sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. But until next time, I will see you all in my very next GTA 5 Online video. Peace.